<laughs> All right, Sean right here with Big Steve Kluklo out of Texas. What part of Texas are you from? Uh, I'm living in Plano, uh, just a suburb of Dallas, you know, DFW area. Well, a year ago, Big Steve, uh, you were kind of the talk of the town, but then you wound up at the Nationals and things didn't go your way, but you still had a large contingency of followers there, and obviously you're a very young guy. How old are you? I'm um, 24. I'll uh, be 25 next month, but still a baby. <laughs> you think you raised the bar for yourself um, coming on so strong, and then uh, when you did make a mistake, it was on the national scene and people kind of started writing you off? Or What, what, what was the deal with that? Uh, I think, you know, it's part of the game. Uh, you know, bodybuilding's a, a learning. you got to learn your body, and, and every year it changes. Uh, you know, and, you, and every year you got to make changes to accommodate, you know, changes that you've made in the off season, more muscle or, or take your body to a new level. And that's kind of what my goal last year was to achieve a new level of conditioning. And, and you know, I did that. And uh, but, you know, I sacrificed size in, in, in that time. But th this year, you know, I said, you know, I, I reached the conditioning, but I wanted to bring just that, that big fullness, which I'm able to bring. And I know I could compete at close to 270 on stage. And that I weighed, you know, I'm, I'm sitting around there. So, well, he's obviously one of the fan favorites. It's one of the more popular guys. It seems like uh, the guys are getting a little bit younger and they're getting a lot more expectations of them a lot sooner in their bodybuilding career. Being that you're almost 25 years old, it's like it takes time to fill out that big frame and get the maturity, the muscle maturity. Um, how do you think it went for you yesterday? Um, I think it went really well. You know, I, I can't can complain you know for me I think bringing bring it bodybuilding for me is is a kind of a personal achievement you know if I bring my best to stage and that's all I can ask for if I have no regret saying got to you know if maybe if I trained a little harder or dieted harder this or that you know but I felt that I brought my best and um, you know I was able to stand up there with, with you know the, somebody that's going to be a future pro and and five six guys that are able to just go on a pro stage and do very well so you know stepping up there and being being competitive and being one of the biggest guys on stage is is, is an you know, achievement for me right. well you've worked with people in the past you work for anybody with anybody for this show yeah you know uh, art art trained me through the off season and uh, through my contest and you know he's you know he's uh, a great set of eyes and he always you know he, he was one he's like you got to push it or you know you, you're right on track and then uh, you know I've always had uh, you know ever since training when I started bodybuilding Justin Harris you know he's been a uh, He's been a just kind of like a brother to me, you know. He'll he'll we talk every you know every week, you know. He'll he'll, he'll call me or he'll text me, hey, what's going on, and you know. So, you know, he's another guy that that, uh, that helps me out. So, you know, and and I, you know, I've been doing it long enough that I, I know my body well too. That I'm able to, you know, know uh, when I can say, hey, I need to make changes, and you know, my wife Amy will take my body fat, and I'll be like, yeah, you got to step it up this week. So, you know, it's it's kind of like a team effort, but for the most part, you know, I, um, you know, I think I, I know my body and. and could, could do what I got to do, you know, to get there. Well, you're a work in progress, and we enjoy watching you grow and develop into a fine young bodybuilder. For Big Steve, I'm Sean Ray, MuscularDevelopment.com. Okay.